Hi, Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power. Good to see you. Last week, uh, Amelia from Buffalo asked a great question uh, regarding how to get started with four on fire. Hopefully that helped you, Amelia. The other question that you had had to do with balance. And I had another great question from one of our followers from Louisiana regarding timing. Regarding the timing of the track and how that relates to balance. Timing and balance, I like to think of as two sides of the same coin. You can't really consistently have one without the other. An example of timing is we do a reach track fire and drive drill. You've seen it many times. As I reach for my target, both my pitching hand and glove hand and stride foot reach together and I track and that's called timing. Good timing will have me land in my track position in what we call power K. I'm balanced, my toe and knee are forward, elbow down, palm up, glove pointing at my target. I am perfectly balanced and vertically stacked, prepared to fire and drive the ball to home plate with consistent command. Timing is critical. How do we know when we're coming off the pitching rubber and exploding outward and delivering a pitch if we're in balance? It's a difficult concept. It's a difficult movement to feel. That's why in our drills, and Christy, who is one of our instructors and advanced pitchers, is going to demonstrate Plank to power K, which we've done in a previous, previous post, and we're going to do a modified version of that because I got a lot of questions from coaches and parents of younger pitchers who said, gee, that plank to power K position is so hard for, for my 10, 11, 12 year old to get into. I'm going to show you a modified version of that, and I'm going to show you how you can determine whether or not you are balanced as you get into that critical position where your pitch begins. Power K. This is where your pitch begins. When your stride foot lands, hand is between 12 and 10 o'clock on a clock, and you're ready with your throw zone pointing at your target to fire and drive through. So Christy is first going to demonstrate a plank to power K. Full plank. This is an advanced drill that many of our advanced pitchers do for power and to check their balance. The purpose of this, as Christy is going to show you, is that her drive foot, which is her right foot for a right-hand pitcher, left foot for a left-hand pitcher, is going to stay in contact with the ground the whole time. And she's going to create a glide forward as she pushes backwards with that drive foot. Got a little bit of a disadvantage here because there's no pitching rubber, but imagine that there is one. She's going to set her feet like she's on a pitching rubber, and she's going to do the plank, and she's going to glide forward, and she's going to freeze in power K position. If she could freeze in that position without wobbling or falling, then you could pretty much be assured that from the time that she started her load to the point that she reached that power K position, she's been in balance. Chrissy, full plank to power K. Good reach, both hands together, both hands together, explodes outward, and Christy, stay there, perfect position. Palm up, elbow down. Drive foot, toe, and knee forward. Torso track. Dot, dot, dot. When I have three dots on my torso, which is my glove hand side pointing to my target, and it's going to my catcher's right hip if I'm a right hand pitcher, left hip if I'm a left hand pitcher, then I know I am tracked. Christy was in perfect balance. The timing was perfect. She knows when she stopped there, and she saw that her hand was between 12 and 10 o'clock on a clock. Her torso was trapped, toe and knee was forward, palm up, palm down, perfect balance, no wobble, vertical stacking. Now we want younger pitchers to be able to do this drill, and it'd be very difficult for them to hold their bodies in that full plank position. So Christy's gonna show you modified plank, and it's virtually the same drill. Go. Reach with both hands, reach with both hands. Same exact frozen position. Stay there. Christy can hang out here all night. She's perfectly vertically stacked and balanced. 
And that is crucial to being able to deliver the ball with speed and command. Her track, thank you, Christy, her track takes place when both hands get approximately to her chin. So my letters are square to my catcher as I load and come forward off the pitching rubber. When both hands get to my chin, I track quickly. My three dots are pointing at my catcher's right hip. My glove hand is covering my catcher's glove, and I have set myself up in position to fire and drive that ball straight to home plate. The balance, timing, two sides of the same coin, critical in making you a great pitcher. I hope this has been helpful. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good night.